All right, this tip is going to seem kind of silly to some of you, but I kind of just realized it in InDesign CS5 that there's this new thing that is a little bit hidden. But if I come under File and come to New Document, let's say, or use my shortcut, and we look under here at the page size, I'm going to see that we have something called Custom Page Size. Now, in previous versions of InDesign, it used to just say Custom. And if you clicked on it, it would just take you to the width and height and let you guys type something in. But if I click Custom Page Size now, I can go in and name a page size, and whatever, and even, wow, there we go, and even set up width heights, that sort of thing, you know, typing in if I want to, like 8IN, that sort of thing, and then, you know, 8IN, let's say I go square, I don't know why, but I would, and then going in and adding it, so I can click add or click OK, and it'll save it for me, and later on, I can, I can just pile a bunch of them in here, different page sizes, just keep adding them. And later on, I can just click on what I don't want and just click Delete or Change, and that'll pull it up here and let me change it. Now, if I click OK, you'll see that I can then choose it from the top of the menu here. Now, what's cool about this that I really like is, let me click OK here. I'm going to do my 8 by 8 by 8 page, which is kind of weird, but if I go over to the Pages panel on the right over here, you guys will see, down at the bottom down here, when I can choose a page, we also have it listed here, and we have the custom page size down there as well. So... It seems kind of simple, I know, and it's kind of dumb, but I just wanted to point that out because I actually find it to be pretty useful to set up as many page sizes as I need instead of having to just set up, let's say under file here, a document preset. So that way I can just set up a page size and also use it in the pages panel, which is kind of cool. So anyway, there you go. Quick tip, working with InDesign CS5.